So if the aim here is to remove the no parking sign from this image with a clone stamp tool, there is one additional thing that we can try to make the end result look a little bit more convincing. So if I go up to the top left hand side to the brush tip menu, which we've now already seen, we've been using a group of brushes called general brushes. Now, if I collapse that, you'll see that this is what we're provided with now in the latest version of Photoshop, but it doesn't provide for us a set of brushes which are really handy for organic material. You can find them by going to the cog icon at the top right hand side and then choosing legacy brushes. Click OK and it puts them to the bottom of the list. If I expand that open, then choose default brushes. Um, you can scroll down or you can in fact just grab the bottom right corner and make that taller. And we're going to scroll down this list in here until we get to a set of brushes called chalk. And there's one in here, which is uh, 60. So 60 pixels in size, chalk 60. Click on that one. And then I'm going to increase the size from 60 to, well, you can hover your cursor outside the window and see how big that is. It probably needs to be 180 and that should be fine. Yeah. I'll hit the return key. And then of course we need to sample. So we're going to sample from a region that is around here. And my brush marks are going to click and drag in this region here so that my cursor removes the top of this sign like so. So if I hover my cursor in that region, hold down the Alt key, Alt left click to sample, let go of the mouse, let go of the Alt key, and then hover my cursor right at the start of that sign. Click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag, just going up and down in there to remove that portion of the sign. I'm using the mid ground of the image and the bracken in that area just to try and match similar looking sized bracken. When I've done that, let go of the mouse. Now to tackle the next portion of the sign, I'm going to sample from a region around about here where we've got the tops of the foreground of the, the bracket and the other greenery. And then I'm going to click and drag from left to right in this kind of direction here, sampling from that greenery. Hold down the Alt key, Alt left click, and then start at the beginning of the sign. Click and drag with the mouse across the sign in there just to grab some foliage from the foreground in there that's a little bit larger. So in terms of perspective, this should be more convincing. Then let go of the mouse when I've done that. And I would say then it's really a case of grabbing, say, the stems here. So again, Alt, click and drag across the sign in there, and we can get rid of that like so. And then I'll just zoom in for the last stage of this. Uh, I'll sample from the area down at the bottom uh, just to remove the, uh, the line that we got in there from the content aware fill, which wasn't the best. And again, just sampling in different areas where the stems are. Uh, my general advice would be every time you've used the clone stamp tool, go and find somewhere else close by to sample from and have another go. Just trying to constantly vary where you sample from in the image so you don't get a repeating pattern, which is one of the telltale signs that you've used the clone stamp tool if anybody does look that closely at your work. And then finally, I'll sample from the nettles over here on the lower right hand side. And then I'm going to drag across this region to remove the very bottom of the sign all the way down and making sure I run this right down to the bottom of the canvas and along to remove the sign completely. And there we go. So what was an eyesore added nothing to the image whatsoever. We've now removed the clone stamp tool and you wouldn't know it was there in the first place.